probably been diffusing wrong your whole life. Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summer Time. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about diffusing. I actually mentioned this on an Instagram video and I asked you guys if you would be interested in seeing my 10 minute diffusing routine and a lot of you guys were really interested. So I know a lot of you guys watching this video might have never diffused your hair before. You might be completely new to it. If you guys know already, then that's great. But just bear in mind that a few people are going to be really new to this. So I'm going to take a minute just to explain what diffusing is. This is a hair dryer. It has one heat source that's going to be centered. But when you take something like this, which is spread out and has little holes in it, that diffuses the heat source, which means that the heat is more evenly spread. It's literally dispersed and that's why it's called a diffuser. Most hair dryers will just come as a hair dryer. That's just a hair dryer. This part right here is the diffuser and usually you can buy a hair dryer and you can buy a diffuser you attach it like this. Now you have a hairdryer with a diffuser attachment and you can diffuse your hair. This one right here is by Dyson. I love it, but I want to say to you guys right now, you do not need to have this one. This one is very expensive. There are lots of other ones that can do the job just as well. When picking out your hairdryer and diffuser attachment, try to make sure that it has heat settings. I know a lot of people like to diffuse their hair on cool. I personally don't do that and I'll explain it a bit later on but as long as it has some sort of heat temperature settings because you do not want to be diffusing your hair on the highest temperature the whole time. This also has a cold setting. Okay so now that we know what diffusing is let me show you guys my routine and my tips. So look at my hair. My hair is sopping wet and it hasn't got any products on it. Am I going to start diffusing right now? No, because I need some styling products. I need a leave-in conditioner and I need a curling gel or a curling cream, something to keep my curls defined and juicy and plump and frizz free. If you haven't applied something that's gonna keep your hair soft, then you're definitely gonna get frizz. And a lot of it is to do with the diffusing technique as well, which we'll talk about in a minute, but let's have a look at the products first of all. I have this leave-in conditioner, it's actually a spray. And if you want definition, then I would avoid using just a regular conditioner as a leave-in because those tend to make my hair really fluffy. I always run all of my products through with a brush like this. This is a tangle teaser. I use two brushes in my wash and go routine. This is the first one. Just something that's going to detangle, something that's very gentle, that's going to help your products to be dispersed evenly through the hair. Next, I'm taking an enhancing curl gel. This one's from Only Curls. So if you are looking for curly girl method friendly products, like CGM friendly products, then Only Curls have got you. I love the fact they are made in the UK. They're no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no animal testing, no mineral oil, and no paraffin. So I love that for you. I love it for me, but I don't follow the curly girl method. And I always take the lids off my products as well, by the way. <laughs> so I don't mind a few silicones here and there. Oh my gosh. I don't mind a few silicones here and there. I don't mind a few sulfates here and there. Not all the time, but I'm not completely against them. And I know that goes against some things that I said in my old videos. But you know, times change, people change, people evolve, people grow. If you're ever confused about my videos, then just look at the most updated ones. Every day I'm learning. So let's apply this. This is the curl enhancing gel. I'll just put that all through my hair because I want the best definition that I can get. Just make sure that that is evenly dispersed with a comb, a brush. Then take some oil and the oil is really going to help to seal everything in. This one is an oil that really focuses on hydration because it's part of the Nutri Plenish line from Aveda. This is going to help to lock in all of the moisture that we just added, but it all makes difference when it comes to diffusing. So that's why I'm including it here. How to get the most defined curls. Use a brush like this, like a Denman brush. I have had my qualms with this brush before and I will talk about that in another video, but let's do this for today. I have a whole video about how to get the best definition with a Denman brush. So if you guys wanna see that, then you guys can go and watch that video. But it goes a little something like this. Brush it out, shake it, scrunch it. 
Okay, and then when your hair has been styled how you want it and all of your products have been applied, go ahead and take a microfiber towel and squeeze out any excess water. So you just go like this, literally like this, and you have to squeeze really hard because I used to make this mistake where I would just kind of go like this and not really squeeze that hard, but if you want to make this easier for yourself and more effective, just squeeze really hard and get out as much excess water as you can. Otherwise, it's just more diffusing that you have to do. Okay, so what now? I know a lot of you guys think that you need to wait. Now you need to wait, right? Because there needs to be like a cast or something. Your hair kind of needs to set before you go in with a diffuser. Wait for about an hour before you start diffusing your hair. An hour is a long time to have wet hair for. An hour is a long time out of your day, especially if you're trying to do this in the morning before going to work or school or something like that. I don't want to wait an hour and I don't have to, and you don't have to. I was actually watching a video by Mains by Mel. I learned this from her. She is a curly hair stylist. She has got the she's got the prayer she's got the prayer for us so take your diffuser remember what we said at the start it doesn't matter what diffuser it is as long as it has temperature control that's really important and as long as it has the diffuser attachment plug it in at the socket that's what i'm about to do now so this is what i'm going to do with my hair i'm going to start diffusing right now my hair is not set in any sort of cast but the way that i diffuse my hair and my method is going to help my hair set in a cast faster which is going to enable me to get defined results because my hair isn't going to have a chance to go frizzy i ain't even going to give it the chance I ain't even gonna give my head a chance to get frizzy. And on Instagram, I said I can do this in 10 minutes. It takes me 10 minutes to dry my hair to a satisfactory level of dryness. Let's see. Okay, it just turned 14.45. Put it on. The first thing that I do is tip my head upside down, which is gonna help give me some more volume in the final result. I have my hairdryer on the lowest speed setting because if it has too much force, it can blow out all of my curls and cause frizz. I also have it on the lowest heat setting because I don't wanna have it on cool, which I think is just a bit too cold and takes too long to dry. But I also don't wanna have it on the high heat setting because that heat can get really uncomfortable and might even cause damage. So low heat is where I like it. So because I'm using a little bit of heat, I am actually gonna use a heat defense spray. This one's from Tresemme and it does contain silicones. If you were following the curl Polygon method and you're completely avoiding silicones then it is actually going to be really difficult to find a heat defense spray because the silicone is actually what provides the protection so if you are using a product like a leave-in conditioner that has a silicone then you're probably good but I like to just use that added protection this one is by Tresemme and some silicone free options are Shea Butter and also there is a range by Shea Moisture that's used for blowouts and heat styling and I heard that those are pretty good but I'm just using my Tresemme for right now so when it comes to the actual method, I should really be holding the diffuser about two or three inches away from my head. I'm actually holding it a bit too far away, but I didn't realize because I wasn't in front of a mirror when I was filming this. And I'm focusing on the roots of my hair. So when you focus on the roots, it kind of mimics that natural air drying process because if you think about it, when you're air drying, the only heat source is coming from your scalp. So that's why I'm focusing on the roots. It's what I learned from Mains by Mel. And when you do this, it enables the roots to dry out first. You get a good amount of volume and it enables the lengths of your hair to set into a cast so you don't have to worry about that whole process of waiting for your hair to set and you're really going to be able to reduce that amount of frizz and shrinkage in your hair by doing it this way. And when I feel like my roots are dry enough and I feel like there's enough of a cast on the rest of my hair, that's when I can kind of start judging some areas and I start to move the hair dryer further down my hair, down to the lengths so that I can fully dry out the rest of it as well. We are now at 2.57, which means that it's been 12 minutes. But what I will say is that we have had a few issues in those 12 minutes. First of all, my camera battery died and I had to go and replace it. And then we had a terrible, tragic spillage here of my favorite products. So I had to quickly attend to that. And that's just showbiz, baby. That's just showbiz. So 12 minutes to get to this point, I think is not bad considering all those things that happen in between. I'd say we've probably spent about nine minutes actually applying the diffuser to my hair. For nine minutes, you know, it's pretty damn good. I'd be able to leave the house like this. You know, I don't look like I've just been for a swim. I'm not about to get some hydral fatigue because my scalp is dry because of the technique that I used. 
I can go outside in the cold and I'm not about to get sick because you know the majority of my hair from the root is now dry and it's just kind of in the lengths that needs a bit more work. So if you will allow me, I'm actually gonna carry on diffusing. Let's start from right now. So it's literally exactly three o'clock right now. So now I'm gonna keep on diffusing until my hair is 100% dry, but I don't think this is too bad for, you know, nine or 10 minutes that I was actually diffusing my hair for. Everything takes a bit longer when you're filming it. So I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get it all in 10 minutes. But yeah, that's showbiz. So we're now at five past. Five minutes past. Bringing us up to a total of about 14 to 15 minutes using the diffuser in total. We've gone from 80 to 90% wet to now about 10% wet. So I think that's a pretty good result. I'm happy with that. And I hope you guys are too. <laughs> so that's it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss anything more from me. Also get me on Instagram for all of the blessings and the breakdowns because I put it all on there. I'm also talking a lot about some political issues and just issues that are close to my heart over there as well. So if you guys would like to get involved in the discussion, then please join me. It's usually a good time, but right now we're going through some serious times that need to be addressed. That is everything from me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!